Hi guys, what's up? My name is BigNonTFi and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video and today I am back on the Scaled in Minecraft as you can see and we are doing once again another task tutorial and in the last video we did the light sabotage um, the lights sabotage in electrical over here and that was uh, definitely one of the more complicated um, task tutorials well, it wasn't. A, it's not a task, but obviously um, that we've done so far in this series. But you guys seem to really enjoy it, and I asked you what sabotage that we should do next because um, I'm going to do all of the sabotages, all of the four uh, main sabotages in a row now. And um, according to most of the comments, the outright winner was the sabotage reactor task. So not task, the just the the meltdown reactor sabotage yeah um so that is what we're going to do today and as you can see we are in the reactor room um but what we are going to do first is i am just going to show you what the what what this looks like in the actual game And now this is what my interpretation looks like in Minecraft. So, as you can see, I am an imposter, and in my hotbar here, I have a sabotage reactor item. And once I throw this, it says reactor sabotaged, and as you can hear, um, yeah, on the bottom of my screen, it says fix reactor. Um, and it's also playing like the, uh, uh, yeah, you, you know, sound. Um, so, yep, what, what we're going to do, we're going to come in here, and we need, oh, okay, this is going to be a problem, actually. Um, alright, you know what I'm going to do? Um, alright, so we need to set off both of these pressure plates at once, because obviously, in the game, what you would do is you just get two people to stand on both of these. Um, but we're going to be more creative, so that's, that's, pretend that that's one person standing on there, and then the other one is like this, and reactor fixed. Uh, and it's going to stop playing the sounds. Um, the little thing at the bottom is going to go away. And everyone is happy. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to change this this back to the stone pressure plate. Alright, so that is what I'm going to be showing you how to build in Minecraft today. So, if you do enjoy it, then make sure you subscribe. Um, but for now, let's just get into it. Alright, so as you can see, I have constructed my little um, reactor um, demonstration here. And we have our two... Um, things that you put your hand on and, um, um, stop the reactor with, is the best way I can think of to describe that. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is just grab out a pressure plate, and for this, I will show you, you can either use a stone, um, a polished black stone pressure plate, or a stone pressure plate, and the reason for this, um, is because, um, so the stone pressure plates, they can only be set off by, um, like, actual players standing on it, or, like, other mobs. Um, but, like, the wooden ones, I'll, I can actually show you here, they can be set off, um, when you throw something on them, and we do not want that. Um, because, otherwise, if you have, like, something in your inventory, like, if you have your compasses, in my case, uh, your lodestone compasses, um, then you can set off that, and that's not how it works, so we don't want that. Um, but, but just for this, I'm going to make the wooden pressure plates, because I don't actually have two players in my, in my game right now, so, for the testing, we will use wooden pressure plates. Um, anyways, I've, <laughs> I probably talked about pressure plates for too long there. Um, the next thing we're going to do is I'll just go over here and I'll grab a command block. Alright, we're going to grab a command block, and like last time, with the light sabotage, we're just going to come down here, and we're going to place three command blocks... Um, and make sure that all of the little boxes, not the boxes, the arrows on the top, are facing the same way. Alright, so it doesn't matter what way, just make sure they're facing the same way. Uh, and on the first one, so the one on this side, you're going to come in here and you are going to make this a repeat and always active. And then the next one, um, chain, conditional, always active, and same with the third one. So, like that. 
and that. So it should look like something like that is perfect. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to get an anvil and we are going to um, actually make our item that we are going to throw to set off the, the thing. And it can be whatever item you want. Uh, it doesn't have to be stackable or anything. And for this, I chose a never star in my actual thing. And I'm just going to give myself, if I can find it, um, oh, here it is. Alright, 64 nether stars, and I'm going to call it whatever I want. Um, and for this, I'm going to call it, um, react, reactor sabotaged, like that. And that is going to be my name, but you can call it absolutely whatever you want. Um, but just make sure whenever I use the word react to sabotage in my commands, uh, make sure you swap it out for whatever your word is, whatever your item is. Alright, so now I'm just going to store this for later, just put it in my inventory there. And the first command block here is going to say, slash kill at E, and then you're going to do a square bracket, alright? And you're going to do name equals, uh, and now you're going to type exactly what you called your um, item. So, um, reactor, not t actor, react, reactor sabotage, just like that. And then you're going to do a comma, uh, space, type equals item. And you can't actually see that, but there it is. Uh, and then you're going to do, once again, another square bracket. So that is the entire command. And yep, all right, looks good. Make sure that when you are writing your, um, whatever you called your item to set off your reactor sabotage, um, make sure that it's capital, that it has the same capitals, um, and if you used a color, then it uses the color as well, because it is, it is sensitive to that. Uh, and also make sure that you don't use a space in your word, because otherwise it doesn't work, um, for some reason. Alright, and the next one is going to be, um, slash title at a... And then we're going to say react or no, react or sabotage. So actually, we need to add the word title once again. I always forget this um, after the at a. So title like that. And now, if I actually throw this, all right, what is going to happen is it is going to get killed. So because it's an entity, when it when it exists in the world. Um, as an entity, it will be killed, so like destroyed. Um, and then this this command block is going to detect that this command block um, did something, and it is going to give us the title reactor sabotage. So let's let's hopefully this worked. Yep. So, all right. So as you can see in chat, it says that um, it killed reactor sabotage, and the command was the title command worked, which obviously we could see because on the screen it says reactor sabotage in big words. Um, alright, and the next command block is, we are going to use that a bit later, so that is all good for now. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab, um, we're just going to come underneath of these gold blocks, or underneath the pressure plates, I marked them out with gold blocks. Um, you don't need to if you don't want to. And we're just going to make a trail of redstone dust, actually. Uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to, we're going to come somewhere in between them. So I'll come, like, here, I guess. Uh, and we are going to make what is called an AND gate. And it's a double AND gate. So the way we make this is just three blocks, all right? Three blocks like this. Um, redstone torch on both of the sides. You're going to have a redstone dust in the middle. And then um, a redstone torch coming out. And it should automatically turn off because um, this block is powered. Um, so what this is going to do is basically, if once we hook these two up, Alright, um, what it's going to do is, uh, both of these redstone torches need to be turned off, alright, for this redstone torch to be turned on. Um, because this redstone needs to have, yeah, it, it makes sense. So I can show you, um, if we put that on, then that torch goes off, but this redstone torch is still also off. Um, but here, uh, then both of them go off and this redstone torch comes on. Um, and that's how we're going to 
basically set off all of the other commands to turn off the reactor sabotage. Um, right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually we're going to use our third command block now. So we're just going to come out, we'll come out here a bit, right? Um, yep, there's perfect. And right here, we are going to just grab the coordinates of the block above here. So it is 95, 16, 120 in the corner. Uh, 95, 16, 120. And also, if in case you didn't know, the way you turn on coordinates is just going into the, the game settings. And you come down here and you flick on this show coordinates button to on. And then the coordinates appear in the top left. I don't usually explain that, but uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I decided to today. Anyways, so, um, 95, 16, 120. Alright, so the command we're going to do is slash fill 95, 16, 120. Was it 16? I can't actually remember. Was it 16? It was... It was 16. I'm... Okay, I'm good. Uh, and then you're going to repeat that because we're only, um, we're only filling one block. Um, just like that. And then we are going to type the word redstone underscore block. Right. So now what should happen is once we throw this, um, it gets destroyed, the title comes on, and then a redstone block should appear right here. Just like that. That was perfect. Um, so now we are going to, we're going to use this redstone block. And we are now going to, um, we're going to get a repeater, so we'll get one of those. Um, and right here, there are going to be four redstone, um, command blocks, not redstone blocks. Um, like this. So two of them are going to be repeating. And they don't need to be facing any particular way, by the way. So we'll have those two repeating. Uh, and then we're going to have another two, like this, and we are going to make these impulse like this. Alright, and make sure that these are set to um, needs redstone as well, by the way, not always active. Um, in fact, all four of those need to be um, needs redstone. And, right, so we'll do we'll do these two um, commands first. So this one is going to say slash title at a um, action bar, action bar, um, so in case you don't know what that's going to do is it's basically instead of making the title um, like big and like in your face on the screen it's just going to like show it just above the XP bar basically um, and we're going to say um, fix reactor not fix reactor <laughs> might need to beat that actually because I <laughs> kind of sounds like a certain word Anyways, um, fix reactor, like that. Um, so what that's going to do is it's just going to, um, it's just going to show up on our little, um, there, just so we, we're constantly told that we need to, we're, rem we're reminded that we need to fix the reactor. Uh, and then we're going to change this delay in ticks to 35. Um, just so it doesn't lag up as much. So, I can actually show this again. What's going to happen is, yeah, it's going to show up right there. It's just going to say, keep saying, fix reactor, fix reactor. Uh, and I'm going to break that. Alright, so now it should stop. And the next thing we're going to do is right here, we are going to, um, slash play sound at A and the, oh, actually not at A. Uh, then you're going to write note.hat um, at A. And basically what that does is it's just going to play... Um, it's oh, I can actually show you. It's just going to repeatedly play this sound. Uh, and I, I was meant to make this also 35. That's going to be very loud. All right, so now it's a bit slower. And if you want to, if you want to find out how to how to make it the actual, like, the, uh, uh, I'm gonna break it, it's gonna, it's kind of annoying, um, that sound, that, that, like, that I used, um, over there in my one, um, then I'm going to link a video in the description for how to do it, and, um, yeah, so, 
yeah, I made that video quite a while ago, and I'm actually, I'm planning to kind of redo it because I did miss out on some things. Um, but yeah, yeah, anyways, let's keep going. So we're going to do those two command blocks a bit later. Uh, but for now, we're going to come out here, um, and we're going to place a redstone dust, then a block up, redstone torch, uh, and then we're going to do one more piece of redstone, and then we will grab a hopper. So I can get rid of those. Um, let's find a hopper. Here it is. All right, so we're going to place a hopper and then another hopper. So two hop hoppers uh, on top of each other. And make sure that the top one is on the same block as the redstone dust, so like this. And what the redstone dust is going to do is while it is powered, um, while it is powered, the, the hopper will not actually... Um, so like usually if that redstone dust isn't there, the hopper will obviously, like, feed through to the bottom one. But, if I place a piece of redstone dust that is powered, then it won't actually, the items won't go through anymore. Um, so that is quite good. Right, so now, we are going to get, um, exactly, we're going to get five stacks, no, four stacks and a half of blocks, any blocks. Uh, so I'll get composters. One, two, three, four. Um, and then another one. And then I'll just spam this until I get 32, so there's half a stack, in case you didn't know. Alright, like that. And then we're going to chuck all of these into the bottom hopper for now. Um, like this. And now what we're going to do is we are just going to grab, um, just a couple of blocks, right, and we're going to come out of this hopper with a comparator, like this, and the comparator should automatically get powered because there's blocks inside of here because um, that's what it's detecting. And then we're going to get our redstone dust, and we are going to go, um, just, we're going to take it over this way, right, and we're just going to keep going with this redstone dust until it is not powered anymore. All right, so as you can see, it's still powered, still powered, all right, and it stops about, I think it's this block here, it stops. All right, and the reason that we're doing this is basically... Uh, when this redstone block is here, this redstone torch will be turned off, which will let all of the blocks go through here. Alright, so usually the blocks would be in the top. Alright, so they'll they'll slowly start going through, and when all of the blocks, um, the composters, get all the way in, then this redstone line will go all the way to the end, uh, and it'll kill the imposters, and not the imposters, the crewmates. Um, and the reason we have this many blocks is it's because um, this amount of blocks takes roughly one minute to all go through, and um, it takes about one minute for the the meltdown to kill everyone. Right, so that, that's the reason behind that, in case that it needs explaining. Uh, then we're going to um, come over here, and on the last block, we're going to grab another repeater, and we're just going to place that right there. Uh, and then we're going to get a piston, a sticky piston, in fact, and we are going to place it right about here, facing upwards, and then we're going to chuck a block on the top. And make sure that the block is in line with all of the other blocks in this trail, um, so that when it sticks up, it will be in front of the repeater like this. Alright, I feel like we're going very fast here. <laughs> Speed run. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to grab this trail of redstone, and we are going to take it all the way into this piston down here, like this, like so. And we are also going to need, uh, right here, we're going to need a redstone torch. So that by default, um, no wait, that was, that was wrong. Place it on that block. Right, so that by default, that piston will be up. Um, but when, when, um, both of these are stood on, or in this case have items on, then that piston should go down. Or not, apparently. What went wrong here? Uh, both of these are off. What did go wrong? Oh, okay, we need a repeater. Alright, and if you need to, then put a repeater here, and as you can see, um, this piston turned off, but if I grab one of these blocks, then it goes back up. Okay, so now, behind this piston, we're going to chuck a block down, and then we're going to chuck a repeater. 
so that repeater should get powered because this repeater. Uh, and then we're going to put down two piston um, command blocks. And in the top one, well, in either of them, you're going to put um, slash kill at A, and then you're going to chuck in a square bracket once again, and then you're going to say tag equals im no sorry crewmates. Um, so that is going to kill all of the crewmates like that. And if you're not familiar with how to use the tags, um, then all you need to do is slash tag at P or at A or whatever, uh, add, and then you're going to write crewmates or imposters. Um, and if I, I, you can see right here, um, I'm actually a crewmate and, Im and an imposter because I'm using hacks. Um, yeah, but obviously in a game you'd only be one. Uh, and then the this command block right here, the bottom one, um, this is going to get rid of our redstone block right here. So we're going to get the coordinates of here and it is 90, 95, 16, 120, 95, 16, 120, um, slash fill, 95, 16, 120, and then you're going to repeat that, uh, 16, 120, and then you're going to type the word air, so that is going to um, get rid of that, that block that is here, and I can demonstrate this by doing this, and as you can see, that block disappeared, like magic. Um, and then, that's that's pretty much it. And the next thing, oh, actually, actually, there's there's still quite a bit, there's still quite a bit to go. All right, um, don't panic. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to come here, and we are going to fill in these two command blocks. And what they're going to do is they are just going to get rid of, no, sorry, they're going to um, they're going to place a block of redstone, um, a redstone dust right here. And you might be confused because there's already redstone, there, there is already redstone dust here. Um, but by default, there will not be because otherwise, uh, you could come here and even if the reactor is not actually sabotaged, you could set off, um, commands which will be here and they'll like tell everyone that the reactor has been fixed, but it was never actually broken in the first place. So, yeah, we don't want that to we, yeah, we, yeah, we don't want that to happen, is what I was trying to say. Um, yep, so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the coordinates of here, so I'll, I'll just break that for now. Um, so 94, 17, um, 94, 17, um, 127, 94, alright, hang on, slash fill, 94, 17, 127, um, 94, 17, 127, uh, and then you're going to write the word redstone, um, underscore wire, and that's just the, that's just redstone dust, by the way, it's the fancy file name for it, and then you're going to do the same thing for that bottom command block, but over here, so I'll break that again, um, 105, 17, 127, 105, 17, 127. Um, slash fill, 105, 17, 127. Um, then repeat it. And then you're going to type redstone wire, just like the last one. And what should happen here is if I break both of these, I'm just going to test them. Um, because sometimes I get the coordinates wrong. And then if I throw this, then what should happen is they both come back, which is very good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we will come, we will, actually, I'm going to replace that. We're going to come out this way from, from here, and we're going to place a repeater right there. Uh, and then we're going to have a command block, or two command blocks, in fact, just like that. Then we're going to go here again, repeater. And then one, two, three command blocks, like that. So that's, that's what it should look like. Don't need those blocks. And this first command block is going to say, um, slash title at a, um, react or fixed. Um, because that's when the reactor gets fixed. Uh, and then this one is going to, once again, get rid of that redstone block there. 
Um, so it is going to say slash fill ninety ninety. Hang on, what am I doing? Ninety five sixteen one twenty. Ninety five sixteen one twenty. Um, because that was the coordinates of over here. And let, let me just check. Huh. <laughs> I actually got that right. I'm I'm amazing. Uh, and then you're going to write the word air once again. Like that. Uh, and then right here, we are going to... So these, these two command blocks here um, are going to be used to get rid of these redstone wires um, right here. Which is what I was saying before. So slash fill... 105, 17, 127. Hang on. Surely, that's not right, is it? Surely. 105, 17. I, I am too good. <laughs> um, and then repeat it once again. 17, 127. And then you will write the word um, air again, because you're getting rid of it. Uh, and then right here. We are going to get the coordinates of here, and this is 94, 17, 127. So we will do the exact same thing in this one. Slashville, 94, 17, 127. Uh, repeat it. And then we were going to type air. And now, for the final command block of the day, we it's, it's going to be a bit complicated, I'll be honest. Um, we're going to grab two hoppers once again, and we're going to place them on top of the command block. Uh, and then we're going to get all of the blocks, alright, the compositors inside of here. And we are going to actually, we're going to come out here, place a redstone torch and a, like that, so that this, this top one is powered. Alright, then we're going to put all of these in the top one, so that none of them go into the bottom. Alright, obviously. Uh, and then, in this command block, it's going to be a bit more complicated. We're going to type slash clone tilde, tilde1, tilde, tilde, tilde2, tilde. Alright, so basically what that's doing is it's just highlighting these two hoppers. Um, and then you're going to come over here, and you're going to get the coordinates of the bottom hopper. Uh, so that is, hang on, I can do the maths. Um, 95, 16, 100, 116, 95, 16, 116, all right, 95, 16, 116, and what we should get is, I can actually, if I just power this, oh, I can't, this is annoying, uh, I'll get my pressure plate back, oh, come on, place, all right, and then I'll grab a pressure plate, like this, Alright, and then I'll power both of them, and what should happen is, uh, if I just, if I just break those, um, those, those, um, those hoppers should be, should reappear. Uh, and yes they do, alright, perfect. Alright, actually this, this command block didn't work here. Alright, and also remember that here you need to type the word title before before reactor fixed, right? Because I forgot that once again. I was I was good on the one down there, but I forgot that one, right? And yep, that's all working. But now, uh, I think this is actually done, all right? So let's see. Let's have a look. If I if I chuck this, then oh, reactor sabotaged. Uh, we can hear the note hat in the background. And what's going to happen is if I throw an item on here and I can stand on this one, then, um, what happened? What happened here? Oh, come on. And I need to put a space there. All right, let's, let's try this again. All right, reactor sabotaged. Dun, dun, dun. And reactor fixed. Let's go. All right, so there you go. Um... If you do want to know how to make the, instead of the just note dot hat, the bing, 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 that sound, um, instead of, instead of that, if you want the, the actual one that they use in Among Us, just for, it's, it's completely optional, just for extra effect, um, then to find out how to do it, you can watch my, you, then you can watch my, um, 
my video that is linked in the description, um, or in the pinned comment, I guess, um, to learn how to do that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to thank you all for watching, and if you did enjoy, then make sure to subscribe, and share with a friend, and like the video, and all that stuff. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and until the next time, I'm going to see you all later. Goodbye.